I'm Tyler Hara. I'm the head of engineering here at Mountain USA. Uh, here at Mountain, we have 30 years of experience providing Ford based motorsport engines in all sorts of series, uh, including British Touring Car, uh, Global Rally Cross, World Rally, and all kinds of open wheel touring car and rally series. Yeah, here at Mountain, the, the USA office has been open for about three years, but the company is actually 30 years old. Um, here in the U.S. there's a great opportunity. It's the, the largest economy in the world and uh, the enthusiasm for Ford Motor Company products is huge. Um, in recent times Ford has really been pushing the EcoBoost engines, downsizing displacement, turbocharging, and that's really what we specialize in here. Um, having an engine dyno in general uh, really eases um, the testing of different components. We can swap out for example, camshafts or an intake manifold, much easier than we could under the hood of a car. Um, as far as testing these late model engines, um, everything's computer controlled. Uh, the engines we specialize in are both turbocharged and gasoline direct injected, which adds a little bit uh, another additional layer of complexity to that. Uh, some of the most uh, important features to me in a dyno are uh, repeatability, reliability, and support. Uh, repeatability, uh, I need to have confidence in every bit of data that's coming from that dyno. Um, you know, if it tells me that this is a pressure or temperature or this is the torque output, I need to know if, you know, that increase is real or if it's a, a measurement error. So having a Superflow dyno really allows us to, um, to uh, spot those kinds of changes. One of the main things that led us to arrive at the Superflow 902S is that, simply put, it meets our needs. Um, but more important than that, uh, with the features uh, offered by Superflow as upgrades, it'll continue to meet our needs into the future as we grow and build upon our current installation. So our Superflow dyno really allows us to control as many variables as possible during the testing process, allowing us to spot the most minute performance gains and more important than that, just trends in, in which way uh, things are going. Hands down, my favorite feature of the dyno has to be the data acquisition. Uh, as an engineer, I can never have enough data. So, um, you know, if, if you were testing inside a vehicle, you, you might be able to log you know, coolant temperature, oil pressure, air fuel ratio. That's great. But here on an engine dyno, I can measure coolant temperature in and out of the engine. Uh, I can measure oil pressure, but I can also measure manifold pressure, water pressure, block pressure, um, exhaust gas back pressure, uh, air fuel ratio. That's great if you have exhaust uh, gas. Uh, sensor, but I can have one in each cylinder of the engine. On the motorsport side, uh, we use our Superflow engine dyno to run in and power test every single engine before it's delivered to the team. Uh, being that we are the engine supplier to an international spec series, every single engine out of our office needs to make the same exact horsepower. And having a Superflow dyno here in our California office allows us to guarantee that a rallycross engine competing on track against a car powered by an engine from our England office makes the exact same horsepower. Um, a nice feature with our Superflow dyno is the CAN integration. Um, we can pull channels that are logged by the dyno, for example, engine torque, air fuel ratio, and bring that into our ECUs for data logging in, in one simple data set. 